What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another epic pack breakdown. So we're going to be taking a look at English League midfielders. We've got Frankie Lampard, we've got Youngberg and of course we have Sinji Kagawa from Manchester United. Now these three players go to 97, 97 and 98. They're also in with a mixture of English League midfielders. Now Nakunku is a beast. I'm going to get into him as well, especially if you miss out on one of these. Listen lads, it's at this stage of the game now, right? If you are spinning, I definitely think you need to be, you know, you need to be just have it in your head that you're going to have to go deep for some of these cards. Yes, you can get lucky, but it is mixed. Usually you have to, you have to clear like 50 to 60% of the pack to get like two legends, right? So if you're looking for, uh, for Lampard or Youngberg, you have to kind of accept that you're going to have to go deep unless you get very lucky, right? Now, that's where these players come in. Is there a couple of players in here that are worth the, the, the risk of spinning for as well because usually the odds of getting these are slightly higher um and there are a couple of beasts in there so what we're going to do is right we're not going to make this video too uh too long but we are going to go briefly through some of the cards and uh show you the builds for them right and just try and mix everything together okay so the first card that we're going to look at is james ward pros this guy's a very good card right but he is a specialist player now what do i mean by specialist player well he's a player that you're not going to be using in every squad he's going to be a player that you use pretty much for free kicks there's the build that we've gone for there uh 42 levels is pretty decent but of course it's all about his passing and it's all about his free kicks i mean if you can if you can carry him in your squad then i definitely do think that you will be able to score free kicks like as uh, anywhere in the pitch man that you get these he will just pop away. If you don't have Pirlo, if you don't have Messi, if you don't have somebody that you're used to scoring a lot of free kicks with, this guy is insane. I mean, he's going to have max play, uh, place kicking or free kicks. He's going to have max curl. He's also going to have really nice kicking power as well. These players don't have boosters. Only the three legends have boosters, but he has 90 balance, 80 acceleration. He's dribbling tight possession and low pass. Very, very nice for a card with 95 lofted pass as well. And he's got some good skills, right? He's got some good, pretty decent skills for a card like this. He has one touch, way to touch, or way to pass, one touch pass, low lofted pass. He also has interception. It's not a bad card, but it's not somebody that I would literally be, you know, oh, I must get him. Now, one of the players that I would say is kind of a surprise package in this one is this guy Adams, right? He is a beast of a card. He's got blocker, interception, man marking, acrobatic clearance, captaincy, and fighting spirit. But he's also got one touch pass and low lofted pass. It's a ridiculously stacked card with 35 levels, lads. Yes. 35 levels is going to transform this card into a monster DMF. If you have not used a DMF like this before, that's fast, mobile, versatile, and still has the defensive stats fairly high, he's going to be a game changer for you, especially if you're free to play or you just get lucky with the spin, right? 90 speed, uh, 80 plus acceleration, physical contact's going to be at 75, his balance is going to be at 78. That's probably a little concern if you run the ball with him, but otherwise it's fine. All his defensive stats into the 90s, low pass over 80. What's not to like about a card like this if you get him in a couple of spins? It's a very, very decent and attractive card. If you are used to playing with the defensive uh, midfielder box to boxes, he's a little bit more attacking than an anchorman unless you use the individual instructions on him, right? We also have Celso here. As I said, I'm not going to spend a massive amount of time on some of these cards because I don't really recommend a lot of them, right? Even though he's got good player skills, he's got 35 levels. This is the build that we've gone for here. I'm not going to really speak too much about it. You can pause the video. Good ball control, passing, all of that sort of stuff. But there's just so, so many attacking midfielders now. It's the same with Gibbs White. Gibbs White is a, is a really good player in this game. Uh, tight possession is in the 90s. Balance is in the 90s. You've got your ball control, dribbling, and low pass all into the, over the 90s as well. His finishing is not the complete article with this. I mean, unless you have Messi, this guy is not going to you know be a, a big upgrade on that. But Or sorry... If you have Messi, he's not going to be a big upgrade on those type of superstar god squad players, right? But really nice acceleration, balance, everything is nice about this card. And he's got some really good player skills as well. I do rate this card quite highly. Um, if you are kind of like spinning, you get him by default, right? He does have unwavering form. He's got really nice player skills as well with that one-touch pass. He also has fighting spirit, which I quite like. I would like to get this card as well, but it's just that there's so many attacking midfielders. Curtis Jones is the same. A phenomenal card in this. Really, really, really good. Um, I think he's one of the better versions of the card that they've released. And what they're doing now, lads, is they're really kind of like giving you kind of endgame level cards for players that you might not usually use, right? So Jones is a really, really nice card here. Ball control, tight possession, low pass, balance, acceleration. 
some of these stats were only being hit by legends like a couple of months ago and now it's kind of players that are coming in selections like this so it is a nice card i also like the fact that curtis jones he does have double touch flip flap and soul control so he's going to be very silky on the ball with that neymar ball roll um which if you are a liverpool fan is really nice 36 levels really just does transform this player if you're using him as an attack and option uh so i do like him the only card that's not really worth anything in this pack is olis right he's just not a good card he's not even worth really talking about there is the build that we've done there you can pause the video there but apart from his balance and acceleration and tight possession and ball control um he doesn't really have anything else finishing and passing is quite poor and at this stage in the game unless you're starting out he's not going to cut the mustard for you so that brings us on to kind of the top two picks right which is going to be nakunku here um the kunku is a very very fine player his stats are ridiculous there was always been a good nakunku card in the game if you kept him in contract and this is no different he again is hitting all these high marks apart from balance being hit into the 90s he's hitting all these high marks that were you know once upon a time reserved for the upper 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 tier of cards such as the messi cards and the neymar legend cards these guys now it just is a dime a dozen and that would really make you question where the stats are going to be going okay um, but that is his build there a very very silky card now i think they've kind of slightly nerfed him in the last couple of weeks but i i definitely would like to try out this card as a creative playmaker and then we have odegaard so odegaard on first look he does have good stats he is a little bit slow he's kind of a different kind of player and he is down as an orchestrator so that is going to change how you actually approach his play with him but there is the build that we've gone for there if you are an arsenal fan you can just pause the video there for a second that brings us on to the big boys right so i've been very impressed with a couple of these guys stats we are going to be spinning later on in the live stream or we've already spun or else we're going to be streaming tomorrow again and and spinning for these guys we might go for the byron first we'll see what you guys want but this kagawa is a very nice card as well right he's got the standard form which is a bit of a bummer on him but his max booster is going to bring in this card into a different type of level now he can get flip flap if you get lucky with the additional skills double touch and soul control are already there as well as true pass and one touch pass and way to pass i think the biggest problem with kagawa here lads is where to play him like because again there's so much and so many brilliant attacking midfielders in this game now that you just are you're kind of really like you can't play them all even if you play three attacking midfielders i mean it's not really where the game is at at the moment unless you play one kind of system but this is a really really nice card and we've gone for the build here again taking those player skills and his booster into consideration ball control dribbling tie possession low pass all getting the boost acceleration and balance really really nice finishing at 80 is even a nice godsend there as well because this card is going to get a lot of chances uh speed is nice balance is nice stamina is nice it's a very good card okay we also have youngberg here who's probably the pick of them if you're not used to playing with a with a, a right midfielder or a left midfielder like that where you can kind of create a lot of gaps he can play right mid or right wing um if you're used to playing on the left flank he obviously won't work because his secondary position is there not primary agility plus two is going to be the best booster that you can get for a card like this because it's going to mean that you can just max out his acceleration his balance everything like that is going to get a big boost of plus four because you're getting the plus two here and the manager boost as well one touch pass first time shot track back this is what i like in my right midfielders or wingers that are able to kind of put in a bit of a shift now we've gone for this build but just look at this build speed is at 80 is going to be at 90 with the boost acceleration balance and stamina all into the 90s and then offensive awareness ball control dribbling tight possession all into the 90s with 85 finishing and 80 plus passing it's a solid card again right midfielders or left midfielders are more of a required taste unless you're playing kind of very advanced wingers that do a lot of shooting that is where i would probably play youngberg and just kind of reduce his speed just a fraction if you wanted to you can still keep it at that but i do feel that youngberg does kind of fall in between that usually play him as a roman flank he's a very different kind of play style than you might be used to and then we end on a quite a disappointing one for chelsea fans because i think that this version of lampard he's just too slow man that's the problem he's just too slow and like if unless you're going to be completely using him as an attacking midfielder it's a strange card he's down as a box to box which yes in theory um you know that should be what he is right and you know realistically i suppose he should be a box to box because he did cover a lot of ground um those type of players were very popular back in you know you know 2010 11 12 all the way back i suppose when you had michael essien you had lampard you had gerard 
you guys covering a lot of ground, but still able to kind of get shots off, like Scolzi and stuff, okay? But I do feel that this Lampard card is quite disappointing, even though he's got 33 levels. He doesn't fall into really any meta unless you really want to play with him. Now, I will see people in the chat or in the live stream say, oh, Lampard's a beast, you need to try him. Yes, he can beast for you. Any player can beast for you, man. We've got to Division 1 using King Collar, okay? It's not about a player beasting for you. It's about giving average advice for the average player that's coming in and just chilling out with the game and doesn't know the ins and outs of the game, such as some of us might do, okay? So if somebody stumbles onto this video and they're asking, do I recommend Nakunku in an attacking midfielder role over Lampard? Yes, based on how much I've played with Nakunku or somebody like Musiala, it's an easy fix to put somebody in attacking midfielder that can do it all. Now, Lampard can shoot, he can pass, he can dribble, but his speed is just too low, man. And the big killer for this card is balance. Look at that balance stat. Even though we've popped 13 into balance, it doesn't even crack 75. That's going to be a big concern if we're used to playing with small, nimble attacking midfielders. So that is it, lads. That is it. We've covered every player in this. Um, and we've also covered the three legends. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to spin or skip? Or are you going to go for the Bayern Munich pack? We've already covered that video. We will be live streaming today. Again, depending on when I put this video up. Or else tomorrow, I could put this up Thursday night. I'll see um but yeah let me know what you guys think if you want a dedicated training guide of any of these players or any talking points to do a deep dive with gameplay let me know in the comments below until then don't forget to like and subscribe i will talk to you in a bit and hope to see you in the live stream peace